I think uh, that police encounter, which I did not record, it's on body cams, it's RPD. I was at AT&T off of Kitsky and Moana in Reno. I think uh, I feared for my life bigger than shit, but I think legitimately that was probably the closest that I came to death. Uh, those officers were like that fucking close from going hands on with me. And I am exacerbated to the point now that I could not help but defend myself. And the minute I did that, I guarantee you I would have been shot. Um, I'm, I'm really actually ongoingly, I'm in a, a constant, and it's not paranoia, but a perpetual state of fear for my life because I got to get this iPhone so I can get out of town. I've, I, the cops have already broken my shoulder. I need surgery for that. They're not even going to take a report on that. Uh, I do have a, a trial or a hearing on that, um, March 29th in Reno, but, um, no, the, the cops are kicking my ass. They're, they're fucking grabbing me, detaining me, tying me down. Fuck, dude, it's been fucking heinous. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping that I can just get this phone and get the fuck out of town. Otherwise, because the RPD, Sparks, and the VA won't talk to each other, even though I'm calling 911, which shares the same dispatch, um, all of them are handling me differently and I'm really afraid RPD is going to kill me. Sparks uh, knows that there's an issue, right? So that's not a big deal. But RPD, those officers you know, threatened me, legitimately threatened me numerous times prior to making me uh, fear for my life. And uh, they were using my own condition against me to justify their malaction. So now what I said there was malaction, like bad action. Um, all of this is going to be very evident in the body cam footage. Uh, AT&T has it on audio and video from 96 angles for 14 hours before the cops showed up. But uh, they're not going to release that footage unless they're sued or, um, you know, there is a class action lawsuit or uh, somebody, you know, files a subpoena. But uh, there you go. Fuck. Uh, I, I just talked to uh, 911 dispatch. Uh, for Reno, and then I talked to uh, uh, Sparks Dispatch non-emergent, and then I talked to um, a Washoe County deputy. No, uh, it was Sparks. No, did I, did I ever talk to a Washoe County deputy? I'm not sure, probably. I don't know. Anyway, Washoe County is supposed to be giving me a call back. Hope I, this is the first time I've dealt with them other than Sergeant Lars Christensen from the Washoe County Jail, who's been nothing but a fucking godsend.